Whether or not we care to admit it, here in Ireland we're obsessed by our climate, but it's the stranger side of meteorology that the latest Science Gallery exhibition aims to explore, particularly as our climate shifts and changes. So much of climate change is very serious and dire. It's important to take the challenges seriously, but if people are laughing, we think their minds will be opened up. So we have a lot of pieces that when you first see them, you'll either smirk or possibly even laugh out loud because they're so absurd. Like the Survivor Ball, a curious new device to protect corporate managers no matter what Mother Nature throws at them. Hazmat suits for children, perfect for ecological disasters. And a machine that generates house-shaped clouds that are a metaphor for the housing market. We've been through a really awful storm financially. And now we see the housing market is rising. We see values increasing. But it, uh, we have yet to fully prove that uh, we've learned the lessons from the previous storm. There's plenty of real science too. Stunning 3D printed models of invasive plant species sighted in the Arctic, instruments for measuring solar winds, interactive climatic models, and Raindrop, a reconstructed 1970s experiment which makes rain hover. The drop of water finds a position where the, the wind is exactly the speed as the terminal velocity of, of the drop. And so it just stays there uh, and, and it gradually evaporates, randomly might fly out. So there's a person in the museum who will be, whose job is to, there you go, is, their, their job is to put another drop back there. And um, this is how you get a drop in, with a syringe. There's also an opportunity for those who think they can do a better job than professional forecasters to try their hand both behind the screen. Most plants and animals will starve or freeze to death within the year. And in front of it. Strange weather opens today and come rain or shine runs until October 5th. Will Goodbody, RTE News.